Hey guys, good night. Thank you for being here. Today I'm gonna show you how to create a REST service with the Spring Boot, the Java based framework, and Kotlin as a programming language. Uh, for those who are not familiar, Spring Boot is right now the most popular uh, Java framework and it is open source and it is quite popular in the microservices. So the programming language that I'm going to use is Kotlin. Kotlin is open source and it's created by uh, JetBrains. And you can use Kotlin for JVM, Android, JavaScript, and native. Uh, one thing that it's that we need to know about Kotlin is that it's statically, statically typed. So we can start by downloading the project here with the Spring Initializer. I've already downloaded this, and for that I grab Gradle, I, I selected Gradle project, Kotlin, Spring Boot 2.1.9, everything by default. Two Spring dependencies, one for Spring Web, which I searched here, so I'll do that again for you guys to, to check it out. Spring Web and Spring Boot Dev Tools, Spring Web, so we can have a, a Tomcat, Tomcat and certain tools for creating RESTful APIs and a Spring Boot Dev Tools for allows us, that allows us to do some library loading and and help us to do some uh, faster application restarts. I've already downloaded that as I, as I mentioned it. And I open the project here. So let's run it. This is I'm gonna run the default application. I haven't add I haven't added any code yet, but here we have it. The application is running, it should be running on um, 8080. So I mean it, it doesn't doesn't matter that, that we go right now and check it out. But let's start creating the the first the first file. So let's start by creating a new a new package. And in this new package we are going to have our controller we our hello world controller. So Let's do it here. It's going to be a Kotlin class. Hello world controller. Cool. And uh, what this is going to have, uh, we are going to add two annotations for from Spring Boot. One is going to be REST controller. And the other one is going to be request mapping. Let's just add as the path that we are going to have for this. Cool. So right now let's just create a function that will handle the request for hello world. So like this is going to be a function that is going to return a string and then just So now we have created a function, but we need some some way to tell the Spring Boot that this is going to this function is going to be mapped to certain path. So for that, let's just use the get mapping. And let's just have it like that. Cool. Now let's just run the application again. And if we go to localhost, then API 
here, we should see our string here. Let's just change here, save it, and uh, let's see. We need to restart this. Yeah, now we have it. Uh, we have created our first Hello World REST service. Mm. And that's it. As simple as that. Thank you. Thank you guys for uh, seeing this video. Cool. Bye.